Hello. Hey, hey. Welcome to the episode we just call The Voice of Truth. I am so glad to have you guys here. This is an episode which is called The Voice of Truth, and I'm privileged to be your host. My name is Erin Seho. I am from Nigeria. I am an inspirational speaker and also a confidence coach. What I do is I help people to transcend beyond their limited belief into their full potentials in order for them to realize their goals and also to fulfill their purpose. I am privileged to be your host for this episode called The Voice of Truth. The Voice of Truth is all about you using your voice for impact, using your voice to change the world, using your voice to change lives one step at a time. In this episode, what you're going to be expecting is you're going to, we're going to be talking about self-development. We are also going to be talking about your spiritual life, your spirituality, and we're going to be talking about relationship. So it's all about you. It's all about self-awareness and also the way whereby you can use your voice to change the world. That is what this platform is all about. And I'm privileged to be your host. So what I'm going to be doing is talking about areas that concerns your life, which is self-development. And we're going to be talking about your spiritual life because that is necessary for you to grow as a person. And we're going to talk about relationship and also talking about issues of life what is happening around us, around the world. So um, for today, though, uh, I'm go going to be talking about giving you guys motivational tips, yeah, because um, uh, that's one of the segments I'm going to be hosting you. I'm going to be showing you guys. I'm going to be talking about the interview sections and also talking about the motivational tips. But for today, actually, we are starting with the motivational tips. And uh, the topic for today is self reinvention self reinvention you know this topic came to my heart because i i've realized that a lot of people have not taken time to to have a self reinvention which is called self discovery or for one discovery is yourself so i had to take this topic because i had to look at my journey to look at where i am today and i realized that it's because i had self reinvention I took the time to discover myself. That is why I could know that, yeah, I am supposed to be here talking to people, impacting lives, using my voice to impact lives. What is self-reinvention? Self-reinvention simply means you trying to reinvent yourself, you trying to find and discover yourself, you trying to find and discover your purpose. I've come to understand that a lot of people go through life without knowing who they are. A lot of people are, are go through life without knowing that they have a purpose and they also have a mandate to fulfill. Because um, I had to look at my story, had to look at my life, and uh, I'm grateful to God for the journey, for how far he has brought me. Because my story is one that I have seen that I have to share with the world. Because I've discovered that what the things I've gone through life is, is part of my story because is something I can use to impact people. One thing about self-reinvention, it helps you see beyond the way you see yourself. You know, many of times, many of us, we fail to actualize our potentials or utilize our potentials because we've not taken the time to discover what we have. Many people go through life confused, frustrated because they don't know what they have. I, I'm, I'm gonna take myself, for instance, let me start with my story because I believe share my story is going to impact someone it's going to inspire someone i'm a girl who is from nigeria i i came from a local home and um at this stage in my life i had to learn how to be independent because um i was an opportunity to to be trained by my mom so i grew up with my dad and all this years it hasn't been easy for me because i'm the first judge and i have two uh, siblings who are looking up to me. So you can imagine how that kind of, uh, the responsibility that will be on me because I, I have to think about how I can be able to help my younger ones. And um, at the stage of my life, I, I struggle with self-limiting beliefs. I struggle with self-love because I wasn't given the, the motherly love that I, I was supposed to be given at the other stage of my life. And my dad was just someone who was always easy. 
And um, I just had to learn how to be a mom to my young ones, but I didn't really know how to go about it. So it was a struggle for me, you know, and that really affected the way I saw myself because I had self-limiting beliefs in my abilities and I didn't see myself to appreciate who I was. And at the early stage of my life, it was a struggle for me because I, I didn't have love for myself. I didn't have love for my siblings because I didn't know how to love. I, a lot of things I, I lacked when I was much younger because I had no one to teach me about all of this. And I came from a humble background, so you can imagine how the struggle would be for one to survive. So I had to help myself to go through school. I had to help myself to skate through school just to get the best out of life. Everything was just me doing it because I just have this mindset that I am supposed to be successful whatever I do. So at that stage, I've learned how to think for myself, even when no one was there to encourage me, even when no one was there to help me out. I just saw myself through school. And um, that is what God has been helping me to do, helping me to believe and know that I'm, I'm destined for more. So, and um, the struggle was hell, like it was not easy for me. But with the grace of God, God helped me to see that what the things I've gone through in life started from my family. All this was to best the woman I am today and the woman I'm becoming. All that was... A, a part of my purpose, part of the reason why I'm here. And it made me to discover myself because at the point in my life, I was feeling frustrated. I didn't know what to do with my life anymore. I didn't know what to do because I knew where I am. Like, you know, when you, uh, the environment I found myself, I knew that's not where I was supposed to be. I knew there was more to my life, but I didn't know how to go about it. I didn't know how to find a solution. I didn't know what to do, but I just knew that I, I am created to impart lives. Um, there's something in me that I have to better to the world. I just you know, have a gift that I have to give to my world, but I just don't know how to go about it. So I had to take proper work to find myself, to do some self-reinvention. I had to go on a, uh, a purpose discovery. I had to start learning from people. I had to start looking at those who are already looking, uh, living my future. I had to start learning from coaches, people, who could make me see and appreciate myself, to embrace my story, to know that everything I've gone through in life was to bet me, to make me a better person, that I don't need to blame my mom, I don't need to blame my dad for their mistakes, for the fact that they brought me to this world without having a proper planning or being prepared for marriage. But all of this was for me to see that God wanted to make something beautiful out of my life. So I needed to appreciate where I was coming from. I needed to appreciate my background. I needed to appreciate my life. So with that, I got to see that I wasn't brought here by mistake. I came to see that there is purpose in my pain. All the pains I've gone through in life, all the things I've gone through in life, all this was to best something. And it's something that can inspire people. So I, I know a lot of you might be struggling with a lot of things. You might have something you're struggling with. And you might not know why you came from the family you came from. The situation you're going right now, the situation you're going through right now, you might not know why you're going through that situation. But I want you to know that there is purpose in your pain. And until you find that purpose, until you find yourself, until you discover what you are here to do, you will not know why you are going through that. So the thing is, the pain is not something that we need to last a long time, but it's something that has to build you. It's something that has to shape you to become the person that you are. And it's about preparing you for your future. So this was something that I came to realize that in all of what I'm going through, despite the obstacles, the challenges, that is not helping me to get to where I'm going to because I am a young lady who is full of dreams. Like I have come to understand that, girl, you have a lot to offer the world. You've got talent, you have gifts, you have your story. There is more to you you can do. You're not just yet to waste. For the fact you're not privileged, you didn't come from a background or the family that can help you push you to where you want to go. But that, should, that shouldn't deprive me from becoming the person I want to go. I, have, I can change my story. So I believe that many of us are destined for greatness. But the question is, are you willing to fight to get to where you, have, you need to be? Because I've come to understand that having a vision of, uh, for people who are destined to be great 
It's not for people who are weak. It's not for people who are not willing to fight. For you to claim your inheritance, for you to fight for your destiny, for you to get to where you need to be, you need to be the time you need to be a fighter and you need to discover you. If you don't know your identity, you cannot get to where you are going to. So having a self-reinvention plays a great role in one's life. Having a self-reinvention plays a great role in your life. Because the moment you find yourself, the moment you discover yourself, that is where you start using your power. You know that nothing can shake you anymore because you don't know why you're here. You don't know what you were created to do. And you now have the power to change your circumstances. Well, that's when you know you'll be destined for greatness. It took me a lot of work. Like I had to pay sacrifice. I had to put in a lot of work just for me to understand why I am going through what I'm going through. Even in the midst of the pain, I've always been hopeful. I've always had faith in God. I don't know what you believe in, but I believe in God. I've always believed that in the situation I'm going through, there is a brighter future for me. There is something beautiful. I have always seen the positive side of life. You know, a lot of us most time, when we are faced with challenges, life challenges, we let it break us down. Like we literally let it break us down to the point that we don't see a way out of it. But you might not know that as a pointer to your greatness, as a pointer to your destiny. God is trying to shape you for you to see that the pains you're going through right now, you have the power within you to change it. Well, if you don't have, if you've not gotten to a level of purpose discovery, discovering what you're made of, knowing your potentials, how are you going to do that? So I've come to realize that many people are living life confused. That is why many are followers and we have few leaders. Yeah, because for you to have, a, for you to become a true leader, you need to know your responsibility. You need to know what you have. You need to know what you're supposed to be doing. That is why we see a lot of people following the crowd. A lot of people living their life just the way they see it. Come on, you're not here to just live your life just the way you see it. God created you for a purpose. He designed you for a purpose. He gave you a unique destiny, a unique gift. He gave you something that the world needs. He gave you something that you need to give to this generation. Until you realize it, until you find it, you are owing the world. Yes. You're holding the current generation and the future generation to come. So we have to wake up. We have to take the work. We have to take the pain to find what we are here for. And until you shine your light, until you find who you have, many destinies, many people are still not going to find theirs. So it takes work. It takes courage. It takes determination for you to get to where you about to be so some of the things that can actually help you to find you want to know what you're supposed to be doing you can first of all i don't know if you're a christian but you can pray about it and say god you created me here for a reason i don't know my purpose on earth i want to find my purpose what should i do at this time at this point she brought me to this generation for a reason she brought me to this world for a reason. What is that thing that you created me to be a solution to, to be a change to, that can benefit my world? I am not just going to be here to be among those who are just going to pass by, watch, as, um, watch things go wrong, and we let the next generation take over. What am I here for? If I cannot make a change now that I'm still young, and I'm seeing this generation. If I can't use my talent, my gifts, if I can't use my voice, then what am I doing? So you have to pray about it because it's only the maker, the creator of your life, that can be able to direct you and give you a vision for where you ought to go. Because for you to discover yourself and to know the purpose why you're here, you need a vision. And it's only the creator, which is God, that can be able to show you and lead you. So the moment you're able to pray about that, then you have to put in the work. You can't just be someone who is hopeful and say, yes, okay, I know God has created me for something great. I know that I'm destined to be great. And you see them there and watch for things to happen. No way. You have to fight for it. If God is giving you a vision, then you have to fight until it actualize. You have to fight for your destiny. And you need to know what you are here to do. 
I just believe a lot of boys have some great regionals, but we have not been able to bet it because we don't know how to go about it, because we are confused, because we don't know what we have inside of us. So that was why I had to take this talk. It's self-reinvention. Take the time to discover you. Take the time to work on yourself. Take the time to build yourself. You need to become until you become. You cannot become the change that the world needs because you are supposed to be an icon. You're supposed to be someone that people look up to. People need to tap into what you have. People need to see the light. They need to see what you're becoming for them to discover theirs. So you have, first of all, you have to pray about it. Second, you have to study. You know, they said, read us bread. You have to find the answer to the questions that is for your heart. So you have to study. Study doesn't mean just reading books. You have to study people. You have to, you just need a vision, first of all, because when you have a vision, then you know where you're going to. You know the people you're supposed to look up to because you're not for everyone. Everyone is not for you. So you need to know your path and you need to know where you're supposed to go, where you're supposed to go. So when you have a vision, it's easier for you to know the people you're supposed to look up to, people who have gone ahead of you, people who have done the things you want to do. You can be able to study them, study their journey, study the process. The more you keep learning, the more you keep discovering yourself because purpose discovery is a journey. It's not a day thing. It's not a day tax that you just said, okay, um, I'm just going to take my time and just, okay, this is it. I figured out my life. You can't figure out your life in one day. The, pop, the journey to greatness, the journey to fulfilling your purpose is a lifetime, like it's a continual journey you have to become. The more you become, the more you start expressing the fullness of who you are because there is more. So you have to keep tapping from it. And when you keep tapping from people start seeing what you're made of and you start making a change and you start making impact in the world. That is when you become useful. That is when you become useful. That's when you shine your light. That's when people see what you have inside of you. But if you don't take the time to discover you, how will people see that light? How will people see that light and want it to use it to discover their own light or their own path? So you need God, you need a vision, and you need to fit in the work, you need to study. You have to continually work on yourself. And whatever task that God has given to you, whatever thing you know you need to do, please, Take the action to go through it. If you're not ready to walk, I'm sorry, you cannot discover your purpose because it's one thing for you to discover where you're supposed to go. It's one thing for you to know where you're going to. It's another thing for you to put in the work and get to your destination. You cannot get to your destination by sitting down. You cannot get to your destination by just hoping for things to turn around. So I am here today to, to encourage someone. Trust me, I've been there. I know how it feels like when you come from a place of nothing, like you come from a background that there is nothing for you to show for it. No one believes in you. I am here talking to you today. A lot of people don't know I'm doing this because I dare to live where I am. Like I dare to look beyond my environment. I dare to look beyond my country. I know I am made to be an international speaker. Even though that is my dream, I have a dream of being a global speaker because I know I have a voice that has to go around and touch the world. My vision is global. My vision is to change the world. And I can change the world one step at a time until I become, because I am still becoming, I'm seeing the journey of purpose discovery. But I know that using my voice, there is someone who will just have to listen to me and their lives will be transformed. But if I had to sit down and just watch without using my voice, how I not know that there's somebody who would just see me and they'll, and they'll be encouraged and they'll be moved to take actions to find a home path also. So I have gone through a lot in life to the point I discovered that there is purpose in my pain. Yeah, like there is purpose. The reason why I'm going through what I'm going through right now in my life, before now and currently, is because I have a message. I have a message for my world and I'm created for impacts and I've taken it as my responsibility. And daily I discover myself, daily I have self-invention. 
And the moment and the daily I become, daily I have a reserve invention, it helps me to give more. It helps me to become more. And it makes me to be useful in my environment. So, and I'm glad because now I'm having fulfillment. Now I know why I'm creating the audience. Now I know my path, my journey, and I'm walking according to the vision. So I want you also to find your path. I'm using my voice today because I believe that somebody's lives will be transformed. There is somebody who will just speak courage from what I'm saying. And a lot of you have a lot of things. You have great ideas. You have a lot of things you are supposed to be doing. But you don't have to go about this. Some because of shyness. Some because they don't, they've not discovered the purpose. Some they're scared. Some they're worried about what people will say. But I'm here to tell you, darling, you don't need to wait for people to approve what you have to do. As long as your heart is for it, as long as it pleases your heart and your heart is telling you to do what's right, you don't need to hold it. You cannot permit, you don't need to take permission from people to do what's right. So you don't need to be afraid. You need to summon the courage to go for what you believe in. That is why I'm doing what I'm doing today, using my voice, sitting from the cover of my home, imparting lives beyond Nigeria, just imagine me, just one step at a time. You might not know the lives that might be transformed just for people listening to you, people listening to your story and finding the courage to go in their own path. So I'll encourage you today to find your purpose. It is important that we all need to know our purpose and it's your responsibility to find your purpose. And you have to shine your light in order for others to find their own path. Until you shine your light, you are denying this generation the gift of you. You are depriving the next generation the gift of you. Because a lot of people are tied to your destiny. A lot of lives are tied to your destiny. But you might not know that you have something that world needs. You might not know that you have the answer for this generation. There are a lot of problems in the world. Which are you made to solve? You're made to solve part of the problems. Until you discover yourself, you can't be a change maker. Huh? You cannot be a change agent. So I believe when we all start discovering ourselves, working on ourselves and becoming better persons, better people, then the world can become a better place. And you see there's hope for your country. There is hope for Nigeria. There is hope for the US. There's hope for the world. It's just a matter of time. One step at a time, just do your part, and that is it. So the world can be a better place. For me, I'm using my voice to make a change. I'm using what I have, whatever means possible, whatever gift I'm endowed with. I'm ready to use it to shine a light. So the question is, what are you using to shine a light? What light are you shining? What are you doing? How useful are you in the society? Are you one of those things people? that we just want to sit down and that's all there is about it. So this brings us to the end of today's episode. I just hope that somebody's life was transformed and somebody got impacted from what I've just shared today. I just want you guys to wait on the next episode and trust me, we are going to be learning a lot because we have a lot to talk about. So see you guys in the next episode and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. And share also with your friends. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye. Helping to make dreams become, to make a, reality. become a reality. That is her mission. Dr. Wanda Thomas is a boss at the podium and in the boardroom. She makes things happen, and today she'll be telling us about her latest invention, everyentertainer.com. This brand is designed to create success for artists, musicians, and entertainers through digital enterprises. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that awesome introduction, and thank you for allowing me to be here as well. And, uh, Seeing that I'm fit even for your show because I know you guys do so much and you make our dreams come true as well. How did you <laughs> find up with entertainment and promotion? Again, it goes back to me trying to find my own way, wanting to be my own boss, 
be rich, you know. And and then back then it was really about the money. It wasn't about the community. It wasn't that the community is the ones who come in to do the, the auditions will mm-hmm. allow me to make the money and sell the tickets. That's what it was about then. You know, we were in a different time then. You know, mm-hmm. building fame and fortune. Yes, yeah, that's what it was. That's it. And mm-hmm. it's more speeding people now to find their purpose, to help them, um, their desires to make, if you will. Yeah. Um, so, and, and the talent, the wonderful talent that's out there, not everybody makes American Idol. You got six billion people on the planet. Everybody don't make it to American Idol. Hopefully this will be a platform that will allow folks to really shine and take a message right. of I know every entertainer.com is still in its incubation stage, but tell us the story behind it. Why an entertainment network for professionals in this industry? This is the main thing I used to always get from entertainers. I will ask them a series of questions. I have a list of questions that I ask, and I will ask them, how many um, fans do you have? And they're like, well, I got 5,000, 10,000 people on Facebook, but are those your fans? Yeah, I got 10. And I said, okay. How many will actually buy a ticket if you were to do a show? Uh, about 10. Yeah. Well, there go your fans. I get that question all the time. I never get 100. Never. I never even get 50. I get about 10. And those 10 may be a good couple of friends and a family. Mm-hmm. So we already know that we got a lot of work because now we got to start branding. It's going to showcase them. It's going to spotlight them. It's going to do things that they have not done instead of just getting on Facebook and doing stuff live and just, I watch people on Facebook just streaming live, just doing nothing on a video on their Facebook. You know, so Mm -hmm. here we are, we're going to stream live and you're going to build um, additional fans to what you already have. You want to build additional fans, you want to build a buzz, you want to build opportunity, you're going to build things that you didn't even think of or can imagine because of their mindset of what they think um, digital marketing is and uh, how do I get a million hits on YouTube? It's not just put it up there, they come. Thank you, Dr. Thomas. It was indeed a pleasure talking with you about something so inspirational. The graveyard is full of treasure. Don't lay your head down or or go to your next job thinking this is all it is. Mm-hmm. Continue, continue to push the envelope. Continue to push yourself. Bring your dreams to life. You have it in you. Want to be the president? Obama told you that showed you that, be the president. There's work in it, but do the work. Don't expect things to come easy because it's not. Um, if you do the work, there's you're guaranteed to succeed. You may get a couple of struggles, skin knees, little, you know, bloody skin knees, but tears in your eyes, but don't give up because I everything I'm doing, I, uh, that was my experience. Get me tears in the eyes, giving up, discouraged, but something will keep pulling me back. And now today, everything is um, coming to fruition. And I thank God for all of it, for the strength. Because I could not have done it without the support and the love of family and friends and the strength and my own ability that God had blessed me with to be determined and to be persistent. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Words of wisdom, definitely.